How's it going everyone, welcome back and today we're going to talk about this. Could in place call, make sure your device has an internet connection and try again. Or maybe you're completely unable to place a call on WhatsApp, especially when it comes to call anybody on your WhatsApp and iPhone. Well, if you ever got this pop up on your iPhone, this is exactly what you need to do to solve that problem almost immediately. So let's go. Before we get started, all you got to do, you actually want to try to look at your internet itself. So all you can do, you can simply head over to your browser and you can type that. Um, now make sure to enable your Wi-Fi or mobile data, whatever, whichever it's available for you. So type fast.com. Of course, this website is going to let you know how much current speed, in speed that you're having. So if you see your internet speed is pretty low, you can go to the control panel, enable airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds, and then you can turn it off or you can switch your network. Let's say you're connected with Wi-Fi, you can turn these features off and you can turn on your mobile data just to say whether it works or not. Let's say you've done it, but still it's not really working. You face the same problem here. The next thing that I'll tell you guys is simple. You just gotta go and open up your app store for sure. And then you wanna tap on the search and you wanna type WhatsApp inside of your app store. Simple look for the application. If you found the WhatsApp right here, and if you found there is a new update for it, I would highly recommend you guys just go and update the software and try again. I mean, try to call again and see what happens. So let's say you just update your software and still if this some problems, still there's a two options to choose. You can head over to your um, settings and you can scroll down to the bottom. Okay, so let me go to the bottom and tap on apps. And here you simply want to find out the WhatsApp and simply tap on WhatsApp here. And then you want to find out um, this option called the background app refresh and live activity. So make sure these two are enabled. If it's already enabled, you can turn them off and turn them back on again. And right after that, you want to get out of here and find out the general. And here you want to open up your iPhone storage. And from here, again, you want to look for WhatsApp to simply tap offload, tap offload again, and then tap reinstall applications. Now, this might take some time, but don't worry, this is not going to go in your fear WhatsApp data whatsoever. Once you have done, go and reset your iPhone. And I can tell you guys, your problem is definitely going to be solved. But still, if you have any questions regarding your iPhone for WhatsApp or any others, please do let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.